Welcome to today's Tea Inspirational Show. I'm your host, Loretta Rose. We are so happy you join us for today's show. Our special guest is going to touch hearts today. She is a mother, a wife, entrepreneur, and a businesswoman. Also, she is now an author. She's here to talk about her new book, Taking the Mask Off. You do not want to miss this. She's going to encourage you that if you're wearing a mask, take it off so you can be free. You don't want to miss it. Let every woman and man know to tune in to today's show. It's today's tea. We're going to start today's show off with Survive by Mary Mary. And this woman that is on today's show, she is a true survivor. And she's going to let you know that you are too. Stay tuned. It's today's tea here on cable TV. Thank you again for joining us here today on today's Tea Inspirational Show with your inspirational music as well. Our special guest, Lord knows I am so excited to have this woman on. She is Latoya King. She is an entrepreneur, now an author, amazing testimony she's going to share on today's show. And I will tell you, women, this woman's story is going to free you in so many ways. You just cannot miss what she's going to be sharing with us on today's show. Also men, I need for you to tune in as well because today's show is something for everybody, especially if you're couples or in a relationship or marriage. So ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our special guest, Miss Latoya King. Welcome to today's show. All right, thank you for having me. Woo, girl, you can ready to <laughs> pour out some heavy tea on this show. Yes. I am so happy. Thank you. You're always so gorgeous too. Thank you. You are too. <laughs> well, thank you. And what I love about Latoya, she's about empowering others not only women but men families as well latoya is also the woman behind king's formal yes now we know who <laughs> king's formal is because <laughs> king's formal take care of phoenix city first lady and mayor <laughs> and everybody is always talking about how phenomenal and how fantastic they look <laughs> this is the woman behind it she's the one that dresses them and um, she took care of my baby girl, too. I must put that in there. <laughs> so it's so good to have you on. Taking the mask off, girl. We're not going to play with it. We're going right. to get right into it. Taking the mask off. I want everyone to see this. This is amazing. This, this book right here is a reality story. Many times you're seeing this on television, reality shows, <laughs> soap operas. This is real right here. She has put it all in a book. LaToya, first of all, congratulations. Well, thank you. Why was it so important for you to put this in a book, your life story? I mean, you have poured your heart in it. Mm -hmm. I finished reading it last night. Mm -hmm. Girl, I had to pump the brakes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and I felt it was important for me to be transparent and be authentic when I wrote this book so that I can help others. Mm -hmm. And my husband also encouraged me to be transparent and be authentic because that's how God will get the glory. Because in the beginning I was trying to figure out like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't put that in there. Maybe I should, I shouldn't. So what I had to do, I had to go to my husband and ask him and get his approval wow. um, to see if it was okay with him to, for us, me to share some of the things that we had gone through. Wow. It was, I know I could share what I went through, but right. share what we had went through as a couple. Exactly. Because a lot of couples out here need help as well and know that they can fight for their marriage and they can get through it wow. with God. I love it how you said that you consulted him and wanted to get his approval because mm -hmm. it really was, it affects the both of you. Right. And sometimes I don't think couples think about that how it will affect the other right but you was very conscious of that how it will affect your husband right and boy I will say kudos to you mr. King <laughs> <laughs> because this is gonna help a lot of couples a lot of people um, your heart is just poured into it many people probably wondering okay take the mask off Okay, you know, it's like having a mask on and mm -hmm. just taking it off, but help the people to understand what it's like 
wearing a mask? Wearing a mask, you see the pretty face, you see the smiles, but you don't see the brokenness on the inside. You don't see the bitterness, you don't see the low self-esteem, you don't see the doubt, the fear. You don't see any of that. Because I know for myself, that's what I was doing. I had mm -hmm. to take my mask off mm -hmm. to be set free, to, to be the person that God had called me to be. Absolutely. And I had to let go of bitterness, resentment, and just let go of everything that was keeping me from my purpose and me listening to God and what He wanted mm -hmm. me to do. Wow. Because I was focusing on the wrong thing. And when you remove those masks, you experience a place of freedom. Right, I experienced a sense of peace that I really just cannot understand. Mm. I can't even explain it. I'm so at peace. I don't let anything bother me anymore. I don't care what nobody say. Wow. Because guess I what, it. no matter what you do, what, it doesn't matter if you're a good person or not, people are gonna talk That's about right. you. That's so right. I don't let any of that bother me anymore. It just rolls off like whatever. Wow. Just yes, I don't care about any of that because I can't do what God wants me to do if I'm focusing on other people and what Absolutely. they're saying. Absolutely. You know, I can't I can't worry about them because if God's giving me a vision and, and giving me, telling me what I need to do, I have to be obedient to Absolutely. him and do what he wants me to do. Absolutely, <laughs> I love it, I love it. Like I say, you're gonna be inspired on today's show. She's giving God all the glory mm -hmm. because they have won. <laughs> but you need to see what's in this book to see what they have endured, what they went through. And so many others have experienced it, but didn't know how to really overcome it. Right. And then when we first got married, we had, you know, it was people saying, oh, they're not going to last long. Mm -hmm. They're not going to stay married long because I was very strong-headed and I was very ambitious. Mm. And my husband's very strong-headed as well, so okay. they don't think those two people could get along. Mm -hmm. But I love my husband, and when I took those vows, I took them seriously. Wow. It's for better or worse, death do us part. That's right. That's it. The good, <laughs> the ugly, the bad, yeah, the, the thick, the thin. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All of it, mm -hmm. I love it. Latoya, in the book, also you share about failed businesses. I mean, I didn't know you had multiple businesses. Yes, I, I started my first business, I would say back in 2006, I had a catering company. And I wanted my husband to be a part of that. We were actually just dating then. Okay. But I wanted him to be a part of the business venture. But of course, you know, I put a lot of work and effort into it, but I became pregnant like maybe about seven months after that. So I kind of like had to go let it go by the wayside because my husband really didn't understand the business aspect of it. Wow. So he wasn't into just running the business or mm -hmm. anything, but I cater quite a few events. Wow. Um, and I, because I love cooking and baking and it, all of that. I, really? Uh -huh. I never knew that. Yes, I love cooking and baking. So wow. I used to bake cakes and cook them and, and sell them. I used to make baskets. So I've always had this wow. entrepreneur um, thing in me. I just always wanted to wow. be somewhat of an entrepreneur. I started she, early. <laughs> she's such a fashion icon as well. Oh. <laughs> See, that's what I've always associated you with mm -hmm. fashion, right. bridal gowns, right. you know, all of our formal events, this woman is the woman, you know, right, right. and that's, but never knew all of this behind the scene. Now, when you mention about business, you endured some challenges. I did, I did. The, um, the challenge was, it, I'll never forget, October the 29th, 2016 is when my life changed mm -hmm. um, because my husband wanted to take a job in Montgomery. So therefore, we moved to Montgomery. And it was just so strange to me. It was an all of a sudden thing that he wanted to move there. I'm like, he's so close to his family. Like, wow. why? You know, why is this sudden And move? he's very close-knitted with his with family. family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, I've, I've had this business. I have an investor that invested in this business with me. I don't, I'm not too sure about this move. Right. But ultimately I had to, you know, just suck it up and just go along with it because, you know, mm -hmm. my husband, you're supposed to support your spouse. So right. that's what I did. But I did tell him like, look, if I can't find a space for my business, I will not be leaving. Wow. But I went there to Montgomery, found a space, found a space, got the keys to it and mm -hmm. everything. Um, at least two months before I actually was to move in. But things just didn't work out at that time. So therefore I didn't open up in Montgomery like I, thought I was supposed mm -hmm. to, but instead I opened up in Wetumpka, Alabama. Okay. But it wasn't the time frame that I wanted. I had to go through a period of depression mm -hmm. to go through that. And, and what happened one day, um, my mentor, she called me 
and she was like, I need you to go check out a venue in Wetomka. And I'm like, Wetomka, I don't think they have a, a civic center. I, she said, yes, they do. So she gave me the address, so I went there. And I met this nice young man that was the, um, the civic center manager, and just the rest is history. He introduced me to a nice young wow. lady there, and they helped me find a space there. And I mean, they really, really helped wow. me. And I ended up liking the fact that we had moved, and I couldn't see it in the beginning. A lot of times we complain and we fuss, mm -hmm. but it's God's way of actually pushing us pushing into us. and stretching us into mm -hmm. something that He wants us to do. Wow, 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 wow. I just so. love this. And she has all of that in this book, too. So I don't want to talk yes, too much about the book. Yes, you have to really read to see how everything unfolds. Right. <laughs> You're going to really see how good God is. And he has been good to you. God has been good to you. He has. You has God hands has been on you. And I can truly say that is because of reading her story and knowing her personally, but never knew, never knew you had endured all what you have been going through or right. had been through. Right. Cause I, oh, go ahead. Girl, <laughs> you're, you're good. You're good. We're going to go into a song and then we're going to come right back and we're going to talk more with LaToya. This song is God is Good by Lisa Page Brooks. Stay tuned. This lady's story is going to let you know how amazing God is, regardless of the obstacles you may endure. It's Today's Tea here on cable TV. Welcome back to Today's Tea. Our special guest is LaToya King. She's an author, entrepreneur, businesswoman, and here to talk about her new book, Taking the Mask Off. This is some hot stuff. Right. <laughs> and you know what? And I thought about my book title. I was like, I came up with my book title before the That's right. pandemic. Mm -hmm. And now everybody's wearing, they have to wear a mask. <laughs> and I'm like, my book is take the mask off, but yes. I couldn't change it, so, the title. <laughs> that's right. So yes, we do want you to wear your PPE mask. <laughs> <laughs> but this mask that she's talking about, in order to be free and to be your authentic self, you got to take that off. So, again, many women and men can wear a mask well. They can. They can wear it well. Um, you know that old saying, some people, you've probably heard, fake it till you make it. Right. That's a mask. Be real. Right. Be who you are. Be real about it. Be true with yourself. Right. That is a, a place of liberty. Right. And that's... From my understanding, that's what you want other women to be able to experience in couples. Now, juggling being an entrepreneur, being a mother, being a wife, juggling businesses, and then dealing with personal matters. Right. How you juggle that? It takes a lot of prayer and understanding with my husband. We have to schedule out time. You know, Sunday, I like for that to be my family time. That's good. I spend with my That's family. That's good. Balance. And um, we'll spend Friday evenings together. You yeah. know, we just try to spend as much time as we can together. Absolutely. But during the week, we both have busy lives, you know. Wow. That's just how we have to do in order to take care of our family and survive. We, we have to work. Wow, 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 <laughs> wow. Speaking about family, mm -hmm. in your book, you talk about blended family. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and that's a goodness. good topic because so many people have dealt with it, but really don't know how to speak to it or deal with it. I mean, help. I want you to help some well, families. Well, I'm just going to tell them what my experience. When my husband and I first got married, we got custody of his daughter, um, which was thir 12 or 13 at the time. And then I had a child from a previous um, relationship. So we kind of brought them together. My son was so excited to have a big sister oh, because he was an only child. Yeah. So he was very excited. But the young lady, she was going through some things yeah. and I just couldn't understand. That's she was right. a teenager. Okay. I didn't have a teenager, exactly. I had a little child. So she didn't want to go by rules. Gosh. So that was a little bit of an issue. Yeah. And then her mother didn't want me to discipline her. Wow. So it's like I couldn't discipline her. So. It was, yeah. it's, it's kind of tough. Yeah. Because when, when you're in a blended family, because sometimes I would feel like my husband was being harder on my oh, son yeah. than he would be on wow. his daughter, you know. So it was, it was a lot. But through prayer, a lot Praise of prayer, 
um, we got through it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we just love each other. Our daughter, she's Crazy. 27 now. Okay. Um, our son, he's 20 off, off of the military. Right. And now we Beautiful. have our 12-year-old that we have together. Awesome. So now it's just us three. Wow, right we have so many similarities. <laughs> I didn't yes. never knew that though. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. Well, that, that will help a lot of families because some families just don't know how to work through it. Right. Some it was hard. It was really, really hard. Wow. But I got through it. Absolutely. <laughs> I want you to talk about, you, t you mentioned something about carrying baggage. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of women, or men too, they carry a lot of baggage from past relationships. Right. And just past relationships and just past trauma and mm, maybe in your true. childhood. Um, my thing, I was dealing with daddy issues mm -hmm. my, with my biological father. I thank God for my dad that raised me. Praise but God. you know, there was just still, I always wanted a connection with my biological father. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately that didn't work out the way that I wanted it yeah. to. And then bad relationships, I've been in the, the verbal and the physical abusive relationships and just being a single mom, just, I just want to help these young ladies know because mm -hmm. If they read my book, they'll see what I'm talking about exactly. Right. You know how when you're young and you're naive, right. it's easy to be taken advantage of. Absolutely. And that's why all that brokenness come in. But we have to heal. That's we right. have to heal. We have to ask God to help us that's in right. order for us to get into these other relationships. Absolutely. Because if not, we're going to take that baggage mm -hmm. into those relationships. Wow. And what I did, I kept going to relationship after relationship and I wasn't healing myself. Mm -hmm. So that brought on the other frustration along mm -hmm. with, you know, the being married. I just thought about all this stuff that's going on that yeah. happened to me before. Wow. And then, you know, with when things start going wrong in the marriage, it just brought on, it's like, it was, wow. it was awful. I had to change myself because I didn't like the person that I had become. It's <laughs> funny how you said that a lot of what was happening in your present had to do with what happened in your past. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's why she's encouraged you, encouraging those that read the book. You got to remove the baggage. Yes, you gotta, you gotta remove the baggage. Cause a lot of time it's just, just, just think about carrying a bag and you put something in that bag. Because you change the bag and not the content of the bag, you're still carrying what's in the bag, no matter how you try to change up the bag. That's how it is with relationships, right. you know? If you don't deal with the issue, you're gonna carry it until the next. Right. And so she's, I'm telling you, you, you're gonna get freed in a lot of ways. And I love it. I really feel like this can be a drama play. <laughs> Josephine Ford, I hope you're watching. She writes here and then we got like time ins and all of those movie guys here taking the mask off. This is a reality. Right. This is a reality. It really is a reality. Wow, 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 wow. And I felt like I just had to be transparent and authentic. Mm -hmm. A lot of people try to sugarcoat things, but mm -hmm. that's not the way to be. <laughs> you absolutely, can't do it. absolutely. And it takes some growing to get to that point. Mm -hmm. It takes some growing. What do you feel like was your breaking point that really, really just got my you breaking, to that point? My breaking point was after the, the businesses and mm -hmm. me having to, when I commuted back and forth up and down that road, mm -hmm. I was praying and asking God, can you please Mm. Just give me some clarity, some yes. clarification, what it is that you want me to do mm -hmm. with my life. Praise I'm God. yours. Do whatever you feel. Because I'm like, I'm hurt yes, right now. Girl. I'm broken. Yes. I'm riding up and down the road mm. crying and asking God, please help me. Because it seemed like when I got one foot to do some things mm -hmm. and it worked out and it was successful, mm -hmm. it was another setback. Another setback. You know, so I, I'm like, God, he has something for me to do. Yes. And I had to be still and I had to listen to him. Wow. And I had to get all the chatter out of my ear and stop mm. going to people and talk to people. So Ooh, I had to go into, good. I had to go into isolation, mm. just cut myself off from, from wow. a little bit of everybody. Wow. wow. And that fast that I did in October of 2019, I went on a fast. Mm -hmm. And during that fast, I've got, I got some clarity on some things mm. I needed to do. That's when I figured out what I really needed to do. And wow. God was showing me some things after that. Mm, wow, 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 wow. And now look, after all that you went through, you're about today, 
you're launching your podcast show. Right. And that's something that's totally out of my comfort zone. This is really out of my comfort zone. I mean, it's just, it's, it's God. Wow. Because I couldn't have did any of this without him. Praise God. What's the name of the your show? Transparent podcast? Conversations Transparent. with Latoya. Mm -hmm. Wow. I told you, she's going to help <laughs> you get free too. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back with Latoya. This song is Imagine Me by Kurt Franklin. Wow. Watch this video. We'll be back after this. Thank you again for tuning in to today's show. It is today's tea, inspirational show. And our special guest, Latoya King, she is blessing us. She is pouring out some very heavy tea. Very, very heavy. It's good. It's good, <laughs> though. I love it. You know, in your book, you share a deep testimony. Mm -hmm. <sighs> your life. But in towards the end, or I'll put it this way, in the book, she shares deep testimony but happiness comes out in the end. Yes, ma'am. So, wow, I like that. Mm. I love that. I'm telling you, this is a movie. <laughs> <laughs> this is a movie. I love it. And it helps people to know that your labor has not went in vain. Absolutely. That's the best way I can describe it. Mm -hmm. Because in the end, Mr. King takes off his mask. Mm. Wow. Right. Wow. So, so they she's been taking off, when you read this book, she's taking off masks here, 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 here. And then you got to read it to the end. You have to read the book to the end. And then Mr. King takes his off. Wow. Yes. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. I love it that he was willing. Mm-hmm. That says a lot about him as a man. Mm -hmm. He was willing. And I, that's commendable to him because some men, pride won't even allow them to even move in that place. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just keeping it real. This is, right. this is a real talk conversation. Absolutely. <laughs> some men have so much pride that they don't even want to move to do the right thing. Absolutely. So that, that is a blessing. Um, you stress to also to women about never giving up on their dreams. Right. And with that being said, I was, you know, basically torn down, you know, and wasn't really supported when I had my business. So I encourage women do not let anybody mm. influence you to give up on your business. Wow. You know, um, the different things that were said to me, it, it basically motivated me because the more and more someone tells me I can't do anything, mm. I'm going to go ahead and wow. do it. I'm going to do it with the help of God. I'm going to do it. But I don't want to get too much away of the book, mm. but I just had to get myself in position mm. and be obedient and listen to God for him to show me exactly what he wanted me to do. Wow. I didn't give up, but I just had to re-strategize some things. Re-strategize. I mm -hmm. love that. I love that. So what would you say to those, because they'll have to read the book, about not receiving the support that you desire? And sometimes, you know, we want it to come from those that are close to us. Right. Or, in a, you know, that is closest to us. What would you say to those that are struggling with that, you know? Yes, yes. One of those things, yeah, that's one of the things. I see a lot of ladies and a lot of just entrepreneurs complaining about their closest friends and families not supporting them. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest, my first year in business, I was a little heartbroken about that. Yeah. But I was told when, before I opened my business mm -hmm. by other entrepreneurs that mm -hmm. had been in business for years, they said, don't look for family, close family, and close friends to support your business. Wow. And I see that. Wow. So I couldn't get mad with them because guess what? It's not their vision. True. So they don't have to support me. Mm -hmm. They're simply just my friends and they're simply just my family. Right. Family is going to be family. That's right. So they don't have to support me. But you 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 will get your support from unfamiliar people. People that don't even look like exactly. you. Exactly. I agree. And you will get um, support from people who don't even know you. And guess what? I got so, so much support from other people too. I wasn't even focused mm -hmm. on the people that I did know. Mm -hmm. because I feel like they're going to do what they want to do sooner or later. They'll jump on the bandwagon and I guess if they want to support, they can support. I, I really don't even care. Right. But I was just blessed to have so much support. That's right. why I was heartbroken when I had to leave Phoenix City because oh. I felt like I was on my way to building my business mm -hmm. here 
And that's why, but you know what? God had other plans. God yeah. took me to a whole nother city Absolutely. and built a whole network. Right. What and it you, was great. He, he, did, he built what you never even thought that was probably possible. Right. Because and he connected you. Because I, when I was reading, he connected you divinely right. with people that you probably wouldn't have ordinarily been connected with where you was comfortable. Right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> because, no, I, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't even even went back nowhere near Montgomery. Mm. I felt like my life was cursed there. Mm. So I was like, I didn't want to move back there. Wow. But I met some phenomenal people Amen. there and they're still my friends to this day. So it had God, has, yeah, God has a way of strategically doing things. Absolutely. Because I was wondering why did he send me here mm. so many years ago? Wow, <laughs> wow. And just listening to you, it just really confirms the fact that how God would turn our pain and help us to realize our purpose in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's I, I mean, when when I'm listening to you and when I was reading your book, and I'm like, God, you know, nothing just happens. Mm -mm. If God allow it to happen, it has a purpose in it. Right. If He allowed it. Right. I I, I love it how you you know refer to God regarding everything about your family, your business, you know, how God wanted it to be. And when you all join together and ask God to do that, I mean, like, look now, you, right. you both are getting ready to have a conversation right. on your show. And people probably want to know, like, when is the show? Um, it's going to be tonight from 7 to 8 p.m. We're going to be talking about submission. What Ooh. is submission really in marriage? And mm. you know, oh, now that's a whole nother show. Mm -hmm. Submission, right? Because I couldn't submit totally. I have was submiss submissive in the beginning. Then there were some things that transpired mm. to where I wasn't submissive anymore, because that's what that bitterness and resentment mm. tapped in. So wow. I had to let that go. But I couldn't become submissive again until he listened to God and mm. was leading my family in the right way. Woo, that's heavy right there <laughs> because a lot of, I've had some conversations, some men are, you know, you know, they, they, they guard it with professional women that don't believe in submission. But it doesn't mean that he just rules you, you know, or just control you. It's, it's a partnership when right. you're in a marriage. It's Absolutely. a partnership. Right. And you understand what that is, mm -hmm. but I'm going to let you speak into that camera and encourage other women to find that place of understanding really how it's supposed to be. Because, see, when you got it, now look. Right. Look at it. And now I want you to encourage other women. I'm just going to tell women. them what I had to do. I had to submit myself to God. And I had to pray for my husband mm, and, and, and ask for God to lead him and guide him and show him how to lead our family. So if you're going through anything in your marriage, if, you, if you're going through not wanting to submit to your husband, just pray for your husband. Pray over him. Ask God to help him and lead him because I'm going to tell you, sometimes they just don't know how to do it because they may not have had that example in their life to show them how to do it. So sometimes we have to give our, our brothers some, or give our husbands and give our, our brothers some credit and just help them because they just don't know how. And you have some that just really won't do the right thing, but you have some that just, they want to do the right thing and just don't know how. So just, can just continue to pray. That's what helped me. Wow. I had to submit myself to God and I had to change some things about me as well. Mm, beautiful, so, mm -hmm. beautiful. I know that's going to help somebody. It may not be for everybody, but it is for somebody. Mm -hmm. We're going to go into this next video. This is My Testimony mm -hmm. by Marvin Sapp. Wow. Stay tuned. It's today's tea. You're watching it here on cable TV. Thank you again for tuning in. You've just heard James Fortune. Hold on. So if you've been watching today's tea with Latoya King, I hope you are inspired to hold on whatever stage you are in. Again, this book is for couples, married couples, um, single women, men. It's for relationships. 
it's, it's like a, a nice book for relationships um, because getting married, when a man and a woman join together as one, they're no longer two people, they're one. You become one. And if you have two families joining as one, you're blending a family. You need to know really the right strategies for that because it is just like, it's just like a bump in the road. And it's like you just, if you don't get the right principle for it, it is frustrating. And a lot of families can't survive it. Right. A lot of families I've seen it just can't survive it. I know when, you know, I uh, pretty much when I married my husband, I, we he had a daughter as well, and mm -hmm. so we became one as right. a family. Absolutely. And but you have to, you have to know how to, because it can work. Mm -hmm. It can work. Mm -hmm. And you have to fight for it. Right. You, if you want it, and you. You want to see it succeed, you got to fight for it. Think about it. I mean, if it's your career, you're going to give it everything that you have mm -hmm. to be successful in that career. You go to college, you go to get these degrees, you know, whatever the case may be, because you invested in something that you right. want. You have to invest in your family as well. You have to invest in your marriage. If you're in a relationship, you gotta invest in the relationship. Exactly. You're not gonna get anything if you don't put something into it. Right. So pretty much, in a nutshell, take the mask off <laughs> <laughs> and be free. Right. <laughs> and be free. So before we um, went into a break, we, well, while we were in the break, we were discussing something mm -hmm. about um, women, empowering right. women, uniting right. women. Right. I noticed in the book also you wanna you're stressing about uniting, women uniting. Right. Why is that so important to you? Because as women, we go through so much of the mm -hmm. same things and we can help each other. But what we have to stop doing is competing with one another. Mm -hmm. If we stop competing with one another and just focus on helping one another, that would be great. That would if we be can, great. But you know what? I know you can't connect with everybody. Everybody is not connected to your destiny. That's right. But you connect with the ones that That's good. you can. Right. And just stop being jealous. Stop yeah. being just tearing other women down. That's right. Because trust right. me, everybody has an opinion and, and they may have an opinion about you too. Exactly. You know, it goes That's both true. ways. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so it's like, you know, women need to start just being a little bit more nicer to each other. Exactly. It is, it, it doesn't have to be that way. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it is heartbreaking. And I know it is for you as well because mm -hmm. I've seen some of your posts that you share on social media. Mm -hmm. I, I, it doesn't have to be that way, ladies. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't mm -hmm. because we all have been destined to win. Absolutely. We all have been. And every one of us have a purpose. Mm -hmm. So if you stop focusing on what the other individual is doing right. and you talk to God, God can show you what your purpose is wow. in life. All of us have one. Wow. Well, I know God has been a vital part of it, but how did you manage to still stay motivated in the midst of those challenges you've had to, like with businesses or, or women, you know, not wanting to support you or ch marital situations or family moving from, every time you, you get to a peak, it seemed like, oh my gosh, gotta start over, you know. But you know what, I think it comes from my humble beginnings. Mm -hmm. My humble beginnings taught me that I need to be a survivor. And I need to you just keep going. You are a survivor girl. Right. So I got to just keep going. Wow. And you know, I didn't grow up with a whole lot. Mm -hmm. So I just learned to make the best of what I have mm -hmm. and just get creative off whatever I have mm -hmm. and just make it happen. Mm -hmm. I've always had this very ambitious, just got to go get it type of attitude. So I'm, I, it's hard for me to just, I might be down for a minute. Amen. But guess what? When I come out oh. of it, I'm coming back out swinging. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, hey, yes, and now I love it. I let all that go. I'm, hey, the sky's the limit. Praise I'm ready God. to go. I love it. I love <laughs> it. I love it. And you love to see other win. Yes, I love to see other people win. And if I could connect you with a resource, mm. I will do that. That's you. I have some that have misused me mm. and to, to get the resources mm. and didn't do right. Wow. But now I have, I've started to pray and ask for a discerning spirit Amen. to show me who I should help and who I shouldn't. Yes. Because, you know, you just, 
everybody. Yeah. You, you're not, you can't connect with everybody. You can't. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's why you got to understand the spirit of discernment. Mm -hmm. And you have to be led. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to be led. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because I used to try to help everybody. I know. But I you know. can't. You can't. Yeah, you yeah. Can't do it. And, and I think that's why the kind of connection that I have with you, because you're, you're very generous. And sometimes the ones that are the most generous are the ones that are hurt the most. And that is that so what true. hurts me. Yes. Yeah. Because people don't care about yeah. your feelings. They just know that you're a giver and you'll help. Yeah. And they just want to see how they can take advantage of that. And you know, reading your book from start to finish, I noticed in the book also, you have just been a giver to everyone that was in your circle or everyone that you encounter. You love genuinely, mm -hmm. unconditionally. From the heart from the heart, mm -hmm. exactly. Right. That's just who you are. Right, but I didn't always get that back in return. Exactly. Right, exactly. but you know, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And those people, I'm still nice to them. Mm -hmm. You know, because God, God has blessed me and he has shown me so much favor. Mm -hmm. So I'm supposed to, I just did what I was supposed to and I Amen. will continue to do that Praise for those God. individuals. Well, let everyone know how they can get the book. As we get ready to close out yes, today's show. Yes, you can go to my website, which is, which is Latoya Pollard King, mm -hmm. which is Latoya Pollard King.com. And you can go on to my book website and you can purchase your um, copy there. You can purchase an autographed copy or you can just purchase a paper book copy where there, it'll just be shipped directly to you. So mm -hmm. you can go to Latoya Pollard King.com. Wow. So, if people... And also follow me on, yes. on Facebook at Transparent Conversations with LaToya. I'll be on um, every Monday starting from 7 to 8 p.m. 7 to 8 p.m. So, your husband's going to be on tonight with Yes, you. my husband's going to be on there with me tonight. I'm tonight. really excited about that. Yes. But, but this is the only so one proud. for right now. For, it's okay. <laughs> all right. It's okay. And I'm so proud of y'all. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for sharing your story. Thank, Thank you. you for being transparent because that's, this, this is so many others, I promise you, probably going through it, been through it, but didn't have the courage to say it. Right. Okay. Right. But you're free. Right, you're I'm not free. messed up. Nope, I in feel this way. good. Yes, and I'm able to focus on Amen. what I'm supposed to be I doing. I love it. I love <laughs> it, and I'm telling you, it's nothing like being free. Mm -hmm. It is nothing like being free. So, again, get the book. Um, if someone want to book you to have have you to come and speak at a conference or something, they can reach me on my book website as well. Okay. They can um, send an email message there, or they can reach me on my podcast. Okay. Um, page, which is Transparent Conversations with LaToya. So anything else that LaToya is doing? Business um, LaToya, wise? yes, I, you know, I've actually was uh, um, in the process of starting to have my own concierge boutique. But during the time of the of right. um, COVID-19, that kind of slowed things yeah. down. Yeah. So now I have an online boutique, okay. which is LCB Online Boutique. Okay. Um, and my website is lcbonlineboutique.com. So wow. I'll have that information up where he can, I think he has it to awesome, post Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. So we'll have that information. So thank you again for just stopping by and just inspiring us. And she's giving away, she's so gracious, <laughs> a book for a you viewer. You wanna open it up for the man? Yes, the I'm a, she's so wonderful. Oh, and whoever just wins, be you. they get a mask also. This is beautiful. And a prayer bag. Oh, wow. Oh. And this and prayer bag, it can be hung, and you can hang it in your, your, your car. And you can oh. just put, I have some papers in here, and they can kind of put what they're praying. A prayer mm -hmm. bag. I because like let me tell you, I, I've had a prayer box that I had with me every day that I rode wow. up and down that road. I put whatever it was that was bothering me, I put it in my mm. prayer box and left it. Wow. Yes, I did. I a prayer over. bag. Mm -hmm. And she gave me one, too, and I love <laughs> it. Because, honey, I do believe in write that vision down, write that prayer down, put it in there. And when you pray and make your request known, you drop it in that bag or that box and seal it. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. done, mm -hmm. let, let it go, mm -hmm. let it go. Mm -hmm. It's give it to God, mm -hmm. it's a it's done, mm -hmm. it's done. And the verse that's on the front is Jeremiah 29, 11. Wow. You're such a blessing. I <laughs> just love her. So as we get ready to close out, I'm just going to allow you to speak from your heart, look into that camera, mm -hmm. speak to the viewers, however the Lord will lay it on your heart. 
just encourage the people. I want to encourage anyone that's going through bitterness, any type of depression, anything that is having a stronghold on your life, I, it, I would advise you to just let it go. Give it to God and be set yourself free so that you could be at peace. You don't want to hold on to those things that's going to keep you from doing God's purpose. Um, just let it go and just enjoy life. Life is short now. We need to enjoy every day like it's our last. So be free, focus on your goals, and make it happen. And just never give up on whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. If some things you have some setbacks, some obstacles, guess what? Re-strategize. But never give up. Don't give up. Wow. She said it well. <laughs> Author Latoya King of Taking the Mask Off. We want to thank her so much for being on today, being transparent, encouraging our viewers, those that are watching. We appreciate her. Just like Latoya said, you got to love yourself. Love yourself. Get to know who you are. Mm -hmm. Get to know your authentic self. Be who you are. Mm -hmm. Love you. Can't no one do it better than you. Right. Sometimes we want others to love us the way we want them to love us, but we got to love ourselves mm -hmm. in spite of how others perceive us. Right. She also said, be free. Be free. That's what taking the mask is all about. That's what this book is all about. I really pray that this book will go beyond what the eyes see because so many people are masked up that they don't even know who they are. They're so masked up by trying to live a life to the expectation of somebody else. Right. Oh my God, I, I'm, I mean, I don't know who that is for, it is for somebody, but it, you be free, live mm -hmm. life. Life is beautiful, divinely destined. There are things destined just for you, right. but you cannot experience it if you're living in the expectation of someone else. Mm -hmm. Find your way, be led. Just like she said, never give up. It may not look sweet, it may not feel good, mm -hmm. but you will get through. I love how she has just been transparent about her journey as a professional woman, as a mother, as a wife. Because we as women, and women know this, we are really good at sacrificing. Right. I'll set just sacrificing everything that we do for someone else and those that we love. We're good at that. We have we have mastered that. Mm -hmm. We have mastered sacrificing. We have done that. You we we have done that. We know how to do that. Right. But women we got to know how to take care of us too. Absolutely. Cuz we are good at taking care of the family. We good at taking care of our men, our children, serving in the ministry, serving in the community, serving these corporations, mm -hmm. but we got to know how to take care of us mm -hmm. because we value, we are valuable. And that's what Latoya is sharing with those mm -hmm. that reads this book, understand the value that is within you. Right. Don't undermine the value that's in you because when you realize who you really are, Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. And I'm so proud of her because she know who she is. Mm -hmm. Women, we are valuable. Yes, we are. And they know it. The men know it. These companies that you're making millions of dollars for, they know it too. You entrepreneurs, you are valuable. Mm -hmm. Tap into it, tap That's into it. it. We're gonna get ready to close out today's show with this song. Greatest Love of All by Whitney Houston. I just think, I just want to close out with this because you got to find that love within yourself. My, my, my. So thank you all so much for tuning in to today's show. Again, may not be for everybody, but I know it is for somebody. I've enjoyed you. I've enjoyed you too, Latoya. Thank you. God bless you. Well, remember, life is all about what you make it. That what you put out, it will come back. We thank you so much for tuning in to today's show. We're closing out with Whitney Houston, 
the greatest love of all. And following that, we're going to end it with Jesus is love. Jesus is love. And at the end of this book, you're going to see how amazing Jesus' love is. Stay tuned. You be blessed. You've been watching it here on cable TV.